Hi friends, yeah, I've got my crystal here tonight. Um, so tonight we're gonna be talking about energy and how we protect our energy. Have you ever been to somewhere that's really crowded or an event where there's quite a few people around and you enjoy yourself and you're having fun and it, you're having a great time and all of a sudden, you know, you get ready to leave and you're like exhausted and you're like, oh my God, that party, that event, that function just took everything out of me. Hi, Jenny. And, you know, it's like, where did that come from? Why am I so tired? Like that was an enjoyable event. I don't know what's happening. I can tell you what's happening. There are so many of us who take on the energy that is from the people who are around us, especially when it's negative energy. It's really easy to take on that negative energy. And the way that our energy fields work, it's like this entire field all around our body. And so when we're in a group of people, our energies all kind of intermingle as we're walking by people, as we're communicating with people. And so if you're next to or with somebody who is sad, who is depressed, who is just really has a low, low vibration, your energy is gonna to try to match that vibration, just like their energy is gonna to try to match yours. And sometimes it's that negative energy that really wins and it brings you down and it lowers your vibration. It's so challenging. I spent an entire year avoiding pretty much everything. I didn't go anywhere. I didn't go do anything because it was just too much. And I convinced myself that I hated crowds and I hated being around people and it just wasn't fun and that was so wasn't true. I love people so much. And it was just really difficult for me to be around these groups of people because you never know what somebody is experiencing at that time. So I learned a couple of tools to protect my energy. And that's what I wanna share with you all today. So I have three different tools that I have used. Each of them are really helpful in their own way and I wanted to share all three of them. That way you can kind of pick and choose which one resonates most with you. The first one I call bubbling up. I just like it because it's fun to say because bubbles are fun. So when you bubble up, you first set the intention that you want to protect your energy. It's all about the intention. Set the intention that you want to protect your energy. Then you imagine that this bubble, a protective bubble that is just completely going all the way around your body, down the front, um, into the ground, through your, around your back, the sides, a complete bubble just surrounding you. And this is your protective bubble. The only things allowed in are things that serve your highest good. That is the intention that you set. As I bubble up, I invite only that which serves my highest good in. You can even take it a little bit farther and say, as of right now, if there is anything that is not serving my highest good, I choose to remove it from my bubble. But the really important part here is that you're wanting that protection. So you create this bubble and set the intention. And another version of bubbling up is a zipping down. You could just imagine like a cloak, like you're placing a cloak over you and you're just zipping that cloak right down, all the way down to the ground. That way you're just completely protected by either this bubble or this cloak. Nothing is allowed in. Do that every morning, like before you leave the house, just like you would go to put a jacket on. You, instead of putting a jacket on, you're gonna bubble up or you're gonna put this cloak on that you're gonna zip right down. You're gonna zip up your energy and keep it protected. That's the first tool. The next tool that I have would be to surround yourself with brilliant white healing light. It's a very similar concept 
The brilliant white healing light is available to all of us. It's universal energy. It is love. It is the highest vibration. So you just imagine, same as the bubble, that you're just surrounding yourself with this brilliant white light and you're asking for setting the intention that this brilliant white healing light will protect you from any energies that want to lower your vibration, that want to drain you. Invite the brilliant white light in and just imagine, just picture it. So beautiful, so brilliant all around. That's the second tool that I have. And the third tool is for those of you who are really connected with angels. Archangel Michael is the protector. So you can just call on Archangel Michael and say, I'm heading out to this event or I'm heading into my day and I'd like to keep my energy protected. Archangel Michael, please remain with me and keep my energy protected during this time that I need protection. The angels are there for assistance. They're there to help. They want to help. The only thing is that we have free will, so they can only help if we ask. Reach out to Archangel Michael. He's a great one for providing you protection. So those are my three tools. Hopefully a one of or a couple of those will resonate with you. Try them out, you know, try each one out and see how it feels. Uh, if you have any questions about what these tools are or how they work or anything like that, feel free to go ahead and write it down in the comments. The next thing, uh, let, hold on one second, I've got a note here. Any tips on how to handle when you're overstimulated by too much noise and tactile stimuli? Oh, Jenny, I'm such a great question because sometimes that can even happen when we're not in a crowd of people. And I say that because I had that happen to me the other day. I had a terrible, terrible migraine. I was laying in bed and between the migraine, there was a thunderstorm going on. I had music going on in my phone and there was it was not a whole lot of stuff, but when you have a migraine, if you've ever had one, you know that that could be really, really stimulating. And it was just too much. And I remember thinking, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I can't handle this like I'm about to lose my mind. The very first thing you should always do in a situation where you're kind of feeling overstimulated is always a return to your breath. And just take a couple of nice, deep breaths in. And then check in with yourself. Is this mine? Is this my energy that is something that I need to be working on? Or is it only this outside stimulus that's happening? And if it is the outside stimulus that's happening, it's a perfect time for bubbling up. It's a perfect time to say, okay, this is too much for me right now. I need protection. And call on Archangel use all of the tools. Bubble up, call on Archangel Michael, ask him to fill you with that healing white light. You know, do anything and everything you can because when you're already in that situation, it's going to be a little bit harder to get yourself into a place where you can create that intention. If possible, remove yourself from the situation. Maybe go into a bathroom or somewhere where it's a little bit quieter and, you know, work on these tools for helping to protect your energy. So that's what I would recommend for you in those particular instances. I personally found that just doing the breath work was enough to lower the stimulus that was happening within me. So I hope that that answered your question and if you have any follow-ups, I'll happy to answer those. One of the things that I was guided to offer to everybody that is witnessing this and anybody that stops by my page, I'm really excited because it sounds really fun. I was guided to offer pop-up shops. So I know that that sounds really unusual because pop-up shops are typically for products, but I was guided to offer these pop-up shops as a way to offer my services at a deep discount 
of $45 rather than the $99 for some people who maybe are interested or intrigued, want to try out what I have to offer and just aren't quite ready to put forth the 99 so the way that it works is that you're gonna see a post on social media and it's gonna say, okay, pop-up time. And when the pop-up happens, you have 15 minutes to reach out to me and we're gonna do the session right then and there for the discounted $45. So it's just like, uh, here it is, it's time to go. Let's get going and get on the phone with me We'll do our session, and I'm really excited for this because I feel guided to offer this, and I know that there's some of you out there that will really be blessed by this. So one of the ways that you can gain a little bit of an advantage over other people would be to sign up to my email list. On uh, Every Monday, I'm gonna send out an email first thing in the morning, starting with this morning, I sent one out that reveals what day and the two hour time span in which I'm gonna announce the pop-up shop. So if you want to get in on that action, go ahead to the left of my Facebook page here. There is at the very bottom something that says lead pages. Go ahead and click on that and you can go and sign up for my email list through there. It shows a free guided meditation. You will receive that free guided meditation as well and then every Monday that you will receive the email letting you know where my pop-up, when my pop-up shops will be happening. Don't worry about how the pop-up shops work. All you have to do is get in touch with me. I'll take care of the rest. I'll reach out to you. I will find out what I need to know in order to have the session with you and then we'll go ahead and clear you of those blocks. I will help to reveal whatever guidance it is that you have within your energy field that maybe you're just not receiving. I can help you receive those messages and then help you to use those messages to co-create the life that you're meant to live and to live your purpose. So excited, so blessed to be offering that to you. Uh, I want to make sure that I've got everything here. I think that that was everything that I wanted to talk about this evening. I can't wait for next week's live session. Same time, Monday, 8 o'clock. I've got another really great topic for you next week. I can't wait. And I may have another little surprise up my sleeve. So stay tuned. Have a wonderful evening. Good night.